Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been thinking of doing something like this for so long but I haven't gone around to it and I finally am a working gal so I feel like I finally have enough money to like invest in good products and like be able to do this. So I am doing a learning how to self-care video. This video is going to be broken up into four parts. So if you're watching this, welcome to part four. You are on the final part. Nice to see you again. So the four categories are really interesting. They're basically four categories that I've created that are parts of me that I want to focus on and just learn how to take care of basically. So this is really important to me because being in college now, I feel like there's such an emphasis on taking care of yourself. There's nobody there telling you exactly what to do. So I think it's really important to just learn how to be able to live with yourself in a space and learn how to care for your body, how to keep yourself healthy and how to keep yourself looking and feeling, most importantly feeling how you want to feel. If you're here, that means you made it to part four the final part, the part that I am most excited about because it's hair. Okay guys, I just got back from ballet so I thought I would do an update on a day zero of hair. Don't actually know where to put this, especially because I just gave somebody my tripod to borrow. You know what, we're just gonna have to make do until I get my tripod back. This is my hair right now. Dry, brittle, gross, not in the best shape. The split ends galore, as you can see, extremely brittle like twisted ends i'm getting a haircut on monday not this week but next week so i'm actually so excited for that it'll be my first haircut in actually forever i think hair has been something that i've struggled with the most my dermatologist kind of diagnosed me with telogenophobia around covid post covid junior year time i lost so much hair. I lost around half of the hair on my head, which you can't tell because I'm so fortunate that I grew up in middle school with thick, copious amounts of hair. So it was kind of just, I noticed it, my sister noticed it, my abuela noticed it, my mom noticed it. Like we were the only people really noticing it. And my hair changed and now I've just come to realize that I should probably take care of that. And I love my hair and it's long and I want it to get longer and I want it to be healthy. So these are the things that I'm going to be adding into my life, incorporating into my life to promote my hair health. So as of right now, I have a very sensitive scalp. My The shampoo I use is free and clear, although now it's called Vanny Cream. It is a hypoallergenic, no fragrance, no nothing. It's literally soap. It's been working. It's been keeping my scalp clean. Do I like it that much? No, but it's what has been making it so my head isn't constantly in a state of like pain and itchiness. And then I use Carol's Daughter. I love their conditioner. Their conditioner is so moisturizing and honestly I immediately started using it after I had telogen effluvium and my hair was like disgusting and it improved the moisture of my hair so much those are the things that I've been using and I really want to learn how to take care of my curls I want to like my natural hair for hair growth and maintenance I am going to get into hair oiling I'm going to try scalp oiling, but I have such a sensitive scalp, so we'll see how it goes. I, I looked up specifically like how to hair oil for a sensitive scalp. As of right now, I'm going to be trying the Meow, Meow Organic Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil right here. So week two, I'm not at home. Very messed up because of spring break. I'm getting a haircut for the first time tomorrow. Not for the first time, for the first time in a really long time tomorrow. I don't know guys. I don't know. Okay squad, I'm going to try hair oiling because I have to shower gonna be great okay i don't have a lot of the tools that i watch in los videos so we're just gonna make do with what i have i'm gonna start with brushing out my hair every video i watched basically was like you need a bamboo brush so maybe i'm gonna be getting a bamboo brush we make do with what we have then i don't have the bamboo machine the thing to massage my scalp so i'm just gonna do it myself which you're just gonna like lightly move your scalp. But you're not like tugging or pulling, you're just lightly moving. Then after that, you're gonna grab your oil. Then what I saw the girl do is she dipped it into her fingers first, and then she went like this, and then she rubbed it in. Oh, that smells great. I actually have like an insane amount of hair just deciding to fall out 
but I don't think something is going wrong because this is like a very much trusted brand. I also only have hair oil for my scalp and not for like my hair. So I'm like, do I look into purchasing something to soak my hair in? But that's a, another purchase. And I'm trying to keep my purchasing down because we purchased a lot for these video. Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna shower. Okay, and my hair, I'm doing my curls today so I haven't like separated this yet because I like to wait till it dries dries. It feels healthier and it feels honestly so much better but this is how my hair looks like. Okay, just for like fun facts, this is what the hair looks like after it's dry, which like the front looks great. She's curly, she's cute, but then the back is just kind of like a blob. And I'm like, did I put enough products in there? Is it just too much hair? Is it just too long and heavy so it just weighs down too much, but these front pieces don't? So if anyone knows, let me know, that'd be great. For learning how to maintain my curls, I am going to be getting the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse Coconut and Hibiscus for Frizz Control Styling Mousse with Shea Butter. I didn't like the mousse that I was trying for my friend because it was just, you. I could feel the product in my hair and it was making me crinkly. So I'm trying out this one to see if it works. And then I'm getting the Jesse Curl, Jessica Curl, Spiralicious Gel, Curl Defining Curly Hair Products Hair Gel for Curly Hair and Frizz Control. So those are the things that I'm going to be trying to incorporate and add into my life to maintain my hair. I'm very excited for this, for this video, this section. We'll go weeks one through four, compare them all. You know the drill. If you've watched the other videos, you know what's happening. Thank you very much. We're gonna be hopefully transforming all of this. Mwah, 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 mwah. Okay guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and show my hair. I strained it because I am going to a party tonight, so it's not natural, but it's cutie. Oh, and I have to go on my tippy toes. She is long and she is luscious. She feels soft. I think I'm still having a problem with split ends, so I'm gonna try to see how I can help fix my split ends. She's cute, she's shiny, she's soft. Okay, so I just showered and now I'm gonna try to go through my curl routine with the new products that I got. A little bit to start out. I break and then scratch. Okay, now I'm gonna try this mousse for the first time. And then I do style these front pieces because if they don't turn in the direction I want them to turn, I will go crazy. I don't have a diffuser, alas. I do have a cotton t-shirt, so. All right, when it dries, I go in with this to help with the crunchiness. That's it. I mean, I'll see how these products work. Any suggestions, let me know. Okay, I wanted to do like a little check-in because those curls are crazy. Those curls are, those curls are insane. Wow. I'm learning guys. I'm learning what to do. I'm learning how to live with my curls. I'm excited. It's gonna be great. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, day four and it is hair time. I did not have curls like this before this video. I did not have curls that I could come out of the shower, do like two to three things, hair dry, blow. I haven't, I haven't blow dried my curls yet because I don't have a blow dryer here, but I'll definitely be trying that when I get back home with a diffuser and then just leave the house with curls. I've never left the house in curls before. So by my definition, my hair transformation, learning how to self-care my hair was a complete and utter success. It's like, I'm so happy. I'm still having problems with frizz. I don't know why I have short hair there. I'm hoping it's growth. So if anybody has any suggestions, I would deeply appreciate that. My hair is also still drying from a shower that I took three hours ago. Here she is in all her glory. And I'm very, very happy. Here she is. She's like, Quite frankly, gorgeous and soft, and I've gotten so many compliments on my curls, and as I, I think I said it before, my hairdresser was like, whatever you're doing to your hair, keep doing it, please, and I was like, okay. 
I will. I'm just so happy for her. She's getting some love. So happy that she is because my girls deserve to get love, to be loved. And it just feels stronger. It doesn't feel as brittle. It doesn't feel as gross. This is actually crazy. I don't think there would ever have been a time that fifth grade me would have been like, my hair is curly. My hair is wavy and not, oh, my hair is just a giant frizz ball. My hair isn't just a giant frizz ball. transformation guys thank you so much for watching this video it means so much to me if you have any suggestions for like hair masks or like things to help with hair growth yeah, just suggestions please leave them down below i hope everyone enjoyed this i honestly don't want this video to end because i am so happy with how my hair turned out that i just want to like continue on this journey thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and please leave your suggestions and please let me know if you found anything helpful